Cloud Next 2018? It's been fantastic this year. The event is so huge. Awesome. I am very excited to learn more about Disruption Detector from you today. So this is a demo I came up with in December-ish of this year. And the goal was to take people and let them break things and then see in real time how our monitoring and logging and error reporting systems showed that so that they had a better idea of what it would look like if they used it for their own applications. Because we do all these demos, but the whole goal of most of the demos is that everything stays up all the time. So you don't get to see what those bad days on the internet look like. And so I wanted to give folks the opportunity to do that. So what we've got going on here is we've actually got a whole bunch of different ways you can break stuff. The panel behind you has a bunch of different kinds of HTTP errors that you can send. The panel behind me sends traffic. And further down, we have panels that kill load balancers and kill VMs. And all of that is acting against a Kubernetes application that I'm running in the background that we're trying to keep up while everyone at the conference here tries to take it down. It's been fantastic. And then once you're done with all of that, you get to see up at the top how those things look in Stackdriver in real time. Excellent. And I know you mentioned a number of products on Google Cloud Platform as well as Kubernetes. Can you talk a little bit about the technology that went into building Disruption Detector? So it wasn't my intent. But we've actually managed to use every single one of Google Cloud's compute options in this product, or in this demo. Uh, we have Cloud Functions backing both the errors and the load. We have Kubernetes, obviously, is the app that we're running. Um, I am using Compute Engine to run a cron job that puts everything back together after the attendees break it. And I'm using App Engine as a test harness so that I could build this independently of the manufacturing of the demo. And that's also going to potentially let us take this demo to events where we don't have this much space, and we can do it as a web-based demo. And what makes this interesting and useful and helpful to our developers? So, as much as we don't want it to happen, stuff always goes wrong. I was talking yesterday in my talk that even if you write the best code ever and your infrastructure is perfect, you could always have a day when a shark bites through the undersea fiber cable, because that's actually happened. And so what this teaches you and teaches developers is that if they use Google Cloud Stackdriver offering, we have a bunch of different products that all play well together and can give you an overview of your system so you can quickly figure out what's wrong and then fix it. And it's really, really interesting for folks because in the past, people have been putting these technologies together from a variety of different vendors. But if they use Stackdriver on GCP, they all come. We have all the options already here. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for the tour, and I hope you enjoy the last day of the conference. You too.